announcements. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, and uh, according to the plan, uh, I will first begin with a quick overview of uh, why we are here. And uh, yeah, so let me, if I can share the screen with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you can see uh, the screen by now. So once again, uh, thank you, uh, Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor Radan University and the Dean Faculty of Technology, Linus University. And uh, hopefully we will we have joined uh, the ambassador to Pakistan here uh, in, in, in Sweden, uh, Mr. Zohar Eman. So we greatly welcome everyone uh, to join on this session. <clears throat> a quick summary, since we have a <clears throat> quite short time and there are a lot of things uh, to discuss and talk about. So I will give you a quick overview uh, <coughs> about the journey that how we started. Uh, this process of discussing the collaboration and working together with Kaidadam University, we started it uh, early <coughs> when the Corona time was kicking out in March, uh, we visited. Uh, it was initiated by one of our uh, alumni at uh, Linus University, former student from Pakistan, Mr. Junaid who is now working as an uh, international representative uh, for Linus University. So it was his initiative to uh, join hands with the universities in Pakistan. And it was a great pleasure to visit uh, the Kajadam University. At that time, we discussed uh, with, the, with the Varsity Vice Chancellor, uh, Dr. Muhammad Ali and uh, Dr. Khatak. Uh, so there was uh, some discussion and it was, we found it really uh, uh, yeah, encouraging and there was a lot of uh, common areas where we, we thought that the two institutions can uh, can join hands together uh, and and uh, develop uh, uh, their skills and and serve the communities of the respective countries <clears throat> so here is a quick uh, yeah overview of what areas we think that we can uh, collaborate together as a, as a part of this memorandum of understanding so so of course one of the key areas that we look forward is uh, collaborative, collaborative research that where we can, the researchers from the two institutions uh, could maybe dis exchange the ideas, yeah, share and, and work together on joint research projects, uh, set up the joint research projects and maybe write uh, the papers together. So this is something that, that we are highly interested in and we look forward uh, to this part. And then uh, another thing that, that we, we, we see as a part of this program is, uh, the, that that we can uh, the, the students from the two institutions can can visit each other and they can can uh, take part in the courses that are offered at the two uh, prestigious institutions. So so that will be and also not just uh, we, we're not just limiting this to to the exchange of students, but we will also uh, love, in future. Uh, I mean that that will be a beginning point, but in future uh, maybe the, the the faculty members and the staff uh, can visit and learn from each other. Uh, another important key area that that we see that uh, where two institutions can benefit from each other is that maybe uh, sharing uh, the protocols and and uh, the other uh, mechanisms like the information because the data is the key nowadays and it has a lot of uh, emphasis. So this this is something uh, more that we, that we look forward. And uh, apart from that, yeah, there could be uh, you know uh, the two institutions uh, and the faculty members and the administration that can can set up joint uh, academic projects. And one area that we see, for example, is uh, nowadays we are already investigating the joint uh, master program with the uh, with the Kajalam University uh, in the field of artificial intelligence and master uh, and machine learning uh, as a part of this mentors program. So, so this is one just example. Uh, and of course, I mean the, the 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 possibilities, the opportunities are you know unlimited. So when when you join hands and when 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 you intend to work together, so there could be a number of different you know areas where two institutions could could work on, yeah, together. So so this is something that that uh, that I believe uh, is the goal that where two institutions uh, can work together. And now, yeah, uh, 
I would also uh, like to give a quick uh, presentation about uh, uh, about the difficulty of technology uh, that we have. But before that, uh, uh, our head of department, Morgan Erickson, was supposed to join the meeting. But for some reason, uh, yeah, he, he has some other uh, assignments, so he could not join us. Uh, but we have a message uh, from him. So let me see if I can, you know, uh, if we can play the message and we can hear what, what his thoughts are on, on, on this uh, plan. So uh, and just have to switch on. Yeah. So I hope you guys can, can Hello, everyone. see everyone. My hear. name is Morgan Eriksson, and I am head of the Department of Computer Science and Media Technology at Linnaeus University. I unfortunately cannot attend this signing ceremony in person because I have a prior engagement of teaching, and that unfortunately has to take precedent. But I want to say that I am so proud and happy with all the hard work that has been done over summer and slightly before summer to get this deal done. So I'm grateful that we're now at the point where we can actually sign the deal and i am looking forward to accepting your students at our university at our master's program soon hopefully the covid uh, pandemic will soon be over so we can start to travel again and meet each other in person when i look at your university i am very impressed i mean it it is obviously a good university so i'm very happy that you're sort of interested in collaborating with us. And I think that we can do great things together. I know this uh, joint masters that we talked about finding support for and applying for, that is something that I find a priority for our department as something that we should definitely move forward with. I also see a lot of potential when I look at the research you conduct at your department, because th there, there is a lot of overlap. I myself, for example, is interested in data mining and artificial intelligence applied to software architecture. And when I look at some of the stuff you do about networking, about agents and all of that, it fits very well in with our sort of profiles and the things that we want to do. So I am simply excited, happy, and I'm looking forward to all the good things that may come of this from the future. So again, thank you for your hard work and congratulations on what you achieved. Thank you, Morgan. So, so there was some some nice words from from Morgan, and as he said that, yeah, we are really excited about this collaboration, and 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 hope for that this will bring uh, open the new doors uh, for the two institutions. Uh, moving forward, uh, uh, yeah, maybe I can I can give a quick overview of about uh, about the department and the faculty of technology that we have. Uh, so let me see if I can. Yeah. So at the Faculty of Technology, uh, we are comprised of several departments, so mainly uh, building technology, built environment and energy, uh, and of course, computer science, uh, mathematics, mechanical engineering, uh, electrical engineering. And, and we see that the, there are a lot of common departments that, that, that we have, for example, information technology, electrical engineering, uh, computer science at uh, Kaja Adam University. So these, uh, of course, I mean, this, this, I see this as personally as this, this the first step. And in future, I hope that uh, after Department of Computer Science, uh, our sister departments uh, will also you know, uh, look forward to collaboration with the QU and other departments. Uh, yeah, currently we are not, uh, I mean, we are like a middle level younger universities uh, located in the south of Sweden. So we have about 75 staff members. Uh, we have uh, 20 doctor students and uh, recently we have established a PhD school for doctor students. And among the study programs that we have, we have, uh, yeah, uh, two bachelor programs, three years, uh, two of them are in fact, we have five uh, bachelor programs, but uh, three of them are in the Swedish, offered in the Swedish language. So the two program, software technology, which is uh, focused towards more software engineering, is uh, and and nervous security that are, that has been offered in in, uh, in 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 English. And then we have a two master uh, programs, one year, uh, three master program, uh, two in 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 the area of software technology, 
and one uh, social media and, and web technologies. Uh, we have been offering PhD. Uh, I, I, I personally, I, I have been a PhD student at Linus University, so it's, uh, it's an honor to, to represent this institution after uh, completing the doctoral studies here. And uh, I'm also honored that the current dean, uh, Jasper Anderson, uh, who was uh, very kind uh, on, on this initiative, was my supervisor as well. Uh, we have we are also happy that we already have some connection with the uh, Al Qaeda Adam University as we have two uh, at least there, there are more but I, I can give you an example of these two students uh, Usman uh, who was a former master student and uh, also uh, he completed a PhD here at our department and currently we have Mohammed Farooq uh, he's a current student in the software technology master program in the second year. So there are there are a lot of things uh, that that we are doing together that can be done in future uh, in together, as I mentioned before that we have this uh, industrial PhD school, uh, where we, we believe that the researchers and the doctoral students and the the, the master or the MP students from from Kajaz and University can can come and 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 uh, work together with our PhD students. And this PhD school works in close collaboration with the with the with the industry, local industry here uh, in Sweden. So we have some uh, well-known partners uh, in the name of Volvo, Combitex, Kenya. So so this this is something that that we have we are doing here, and I'm skipping this uh, just to uh, to make sure that we can uh, do all the planned things on time. We have a very rich uh, society of uh, students from uh, Pakistan already living here in, in Vectro. They have a very vibrant community taking part in every, you know, uh, activities other than academic sports. We have a uh, uh, sports communities as well. So, and uh, Sweden is a, is a great country. So, so uh, to, to, uh, when it's come to the religious and cultural harmony. So I see a lot of positives uh, after living uh, for here for, for about more than 10 years. So this is something uh, that, that our department uh, is currently offering and there are, I believe, by working together, we can, we can offer a lot more. Uh, so that's it. Uh, and now I will, uh, uh, I will uh, ask, uh, request Mr. Uh, Dr. Mohammed uh, Mohsam Ali Khotak that if you can present uh, uh, and say some words about uh, the Department of Computer Science and uh, at Kazan University. So please, Dr. Kertak, take over. Uh, that's all we can't hear you. Can you please unmute your mic? Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, and good afternoon to everyone. I am Dr. Khatak and uh, I'll give a brief introduction about Kaidyazam University Islamabad. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, Kaidyazam University in number, uh, we are ranked number one in Pakistan by Higher Education Commission. Uh, so far uh, in 2019, we have published 1,544 impact factor publications uh, with a total citation of uh, 19,000 plus. Uh, we have 90% faculty with PhD degrees. And similarly, you can see we have a number of students at undergrad level, at MSc and uh, master and PhD level. So, so the to total number of students studying at uh, Kaidyazam University is more than 12,000. Here is a brief history about Kaidyazam University. 
uh, it was actually very famous for uh, its research and teaching excellence. Earlier uh, in 1967, when it was established, it was named as University of Islamabad. And later on, it was renamed as Kaidiyazam University in 1976. We have students from all over Pakistan, and we provide equal opportunity uh, to different provinces or different regions of Islamabad uh, based on their capabilities. Uh, we have four major faculties, which are mentioned here, that are biological, natural sciences, social sciences, and medicine. Uh, and beside that, we all also have six uh, federally funded autonomous research center at Kaidiyazam University. Uh, if you can see the international ranking of uh, Kaidiyazam University, we got in top 100 university by the Times ranking. And uh, based on QS ranking, we are ranked 378 uh, uh, in the world. Uh, and here is the national ranking. And you can see here in the list that Kaidiyazam University is leading uh, the 200 universities of uh, Pakistan. Uh, here is the uh, policy, as I told you, that we have uh, students from all over the country. And uh, here you can see the distribution based on the population of different provinces over here. And uh, here is the information about faculty of natural sciences. We have a department of chemistry, computer science, information technology, electronics, mathematics, physics, and statistics. But I will briefly discuss here about computer science, IT, and electronics department. Uh, the computer science department in Kaidiyazam University is also considered as the oldest department or the first department of computer science in Pakistan that was established back in 1976. Now we offer a BS program in computer science, similarly MSE, MS Information Science and Technology, MPhil in Computer Science, and PhD in Computer Science. We have a student strength of 400 plus, and our vision to start new programs are BS and MS in Artificial Intelligence, in Cyber Security, Data Science, Software Engineering, and similarly, also PhDs in, in these programs. Uh, these are future vision, and in near future, we will be going to launch uh, artificial intelligence and cyber security programs, which is already there uh, at your campus as well. At the uh, Department of Information Security, uh, Information Technology, we have BS, and we are also planning for the MSIT programs. Uh, over there, the strength of student is uh, 260 plus. At Department of Electronics, we have BS Electronics, MSc, uh, MPhil, and PhD in Electronics, and the student strength are uh, 250. Uh, we have a faculty strength of uh, more than uh, 35, and most of them are PhD degree holders. Uh, here are some uh, means information about our research collaboration. We are collaborating uh, many universities uh, uh, in the world, and the top university in them are given here that include University of Missouri, US, Kansas State University, University of Glasgow, University of Ulm, Germany, Kai, South Korea, and UTM, Malaysia. So that's all from my side, and thank you so much for your time. Sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Hutchins. It was really nice to hear from you. Uh, uh, yeah. Next, uh, yeah. I can see that uh, Harlot and Stephen uh, Harlot from our international relations and international communication office have joined. Have Thank, joined. You Thank you very much. Such a short notice. Uh, I would like to say that uh, Stephen was among the team uh, who initiated this uh, together. Uh, with Junaid, uh, and uh, we got a lot of support. So I would really like to thank uh, Stephen once again uh, for supporting and guiding us uh, throughout. And uh, I will request Charlotte if you can uh, kindly uh, tell us a little bit more uh, on on uh, the LNU uh, international uh, relations policies and, and and how we can reach out and how QEU can contact us further. So over to you, Charlotte. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Charlotte and I work at the Office of External Relations uh, at uh, on the central level. And I have um, prepared a very, very short presentation that's going to take no more than a couple of minutes about how we work with internationalization and different. And of course, this works, uh, diff it gives different 
ideas of collaboration as well between our two universities. So I will um, share my screen here really fast. Do you see a big yellow modern university yes. uh, in Småland? Yes, that's good. Okay, so I will move on. Um, the, and this will be very, very brief. So I'm thinking that uh, if you get ideas or questions and so on, we can take that, you can contact me afterwards and, and I will um, give you further information about it. The activities that Linnaeus is working with basically are on all different levels that you can imagine. Uh, and we do have a lot of research collaborations, both individual and in networks. Um, we are working with a large, uh, couple of larger uh, projects and networks as well. I'm going to tell you more about one of them uh, further on. And through um, these, there are uh, external funding that is uh, that we can apply for as well, depending on what you want to do between the two universities. We uh, do exchange mobility on all levels, from student to administrative and in between all the academic levels. Uh, we have had strategic funding uh, that have helped with um, uh, doctoral and uh, teacher exchanges outside of the European Union as well to apply for. Um, we do uh, have a large number of international fee paying students, but I'm not going to give details on that since we have Stefan here. He's a lot better on that than I am. Uh, we do arrange an international staff training week every year, uh, which is open for both teachers and administrators or whoever want to uh, participate in that. Uh, it has been uh, physical, but uh, uh, the last two times, it usually runs in May, it has been digital and that has worked fine. Uh, we, we do work with a COIL and virtual mobility uh, with partner universities as well, allowing uh, students to uh, participate in the courses we offer for exchange students um, on a virtual level. Um, so that, that's a possibility. And we are discussing now internationalization in the future. What um, The pandemic has opened doors, closed some, opened others. And so we're looking, uh, we're discussing digital solutions and sustain, uh, working more sustainably with it and um, increase inclusiveness and so on. Uh, so that's activities and discussions that we have, partly. Just in number short, about 863 agreements with 629 partners in 82 countries. And out of those are 575, uh, 74 in EU. Otherwise, we have partners um, in, uh, spread out in a big part of the world. And the number of students, and I have to say the numbers here, big question mark, because I've been trying to get um, a very rough number. Uh, it's difficult to say now with the pandemic, but this was uh, sort of what we were at before, about 750 exchanged every year coming in. And Stefan, you will have to correct me again. That would, um, the number I got was about 1600 international students in total, includes, including the fee paying. And we are sending out about 290. I always get the question when I meet Asian partners, do you work with anyone else in Asia? The question is, yes, we do. We have about 100 agreements, quite large collaboration in Asia with 15 countries. So you can see here the biggest one are China and Japan and third place, we have South Korea. But uh, you are a second, uh, you will be our second partner in Bangladesh, uh, in Pakistan, sorry. And um, we work in a number of networks um, and projects and consortium. I'm not going to get into that as well. I want to say we are members of uh, SARS, Scholars at Risk, which is something that we work quite intensely with now. Um, and the big project that engages everyone at our university now is something called the European University for Wellbeing, UNIWELL. It is a EU funded project that will run for three years. Uh, it's part of a strategic collaboration. It's a university-wide involvement. And I would say we've never really worked in a project this big before. So it's quite interesting to see the um, uh, development of this as well. It's going to run, as I said, for three years, and then we're going to apply for additional funding for that. But the mission of UNUEL is to understand, improve, measure, and rebalance the well-being of individuals, our own community and society as a whole. And there are seven universities that are members of this um, project or consortia, which 
uh, are uh, located in the Netherlands, Hungary, UK, Germany, Italy, and France. And I could, well, my colleague Camilla could talk a day about this project because it's uh, super large, um, but we are, uh, to go back here within Erasmus Plus, we do have different kinds of possibilities to apply for funding for collaboration. Erasmus Mundus, and I think you already have uh, discussed that, uh, international credit mobility, capacity building, and so on. So I think that once uh, we get started with a specific kind of collaboration, we will be able to look at different programs on funding as well. I think I will stop there. Thank you so much, Albert. Uh, it was nice to hear from you. And uh, yeah, uh, and without wasting any time, because uh, we are kind of a uh, bit late on what we planned. Uh, so um, I would request uh, our Dean for the Faculty of Technology. Uh, we are honored to have him. Uh, so thank you very much, Jasper, for joining for this session. It was your vision uh, who helped us all. Uh, to reach out and uh, yeah and and come forward at this stage, so and we will really appreciate if you can say a few words uh, about this uh, yeah the, the event that we are looking forward to it. Uh, thank you, thank you, Nadim. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in March in March twenty twenty, we we uh, it was a pleasure to 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 visit. Uh, Islamabad and, and, and uh, uh, almost a week later uh, uh, we uh, reverted to, to working from home and, and we're still in that uh, situation so so uh, uh, however we, we we start to see the, the light and we hope it's the light at the end of the tunnel and, and maybe this is also uh, another sign uh, this this event where we're uh, get the opportunity to 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 sign a, a memorandum of understanding at, that we would like to 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 start a a uh, uh, more tight collaboration between uh, the two uh, institutions. Uh, internationalization has always been uh, close to my heart. Uh, I've been uh, spending a lot of time. Abroad, I've been to, to China a lot, uh, uh, visiting universities, trying to establish collaborations. I've been in around uh, visiting universities in Europe, and and then I uh, had the uh, great opportunity to work with a, a couple of, of, of really good uh, Pakistani students. Uh, one of them is is Yunaid uh, Gan, uh, who I supervised uh, when he was a bachelor student. Uh, and then he has been in and out uh, a couple of times, and, and Nadim, of course, he's been, uh, we've been working together for, for more than 10 years now, and, and uh, first as a PhD student, and now as a, as a colleague uh, at the Department of Computer Science. Uh, so, so when these guys started to, to, to talk about a, a, a visit to, to Islamabad and, and, and uh, I, I saw this as an opportunity because I've always been considering internationalization as, as an opportunity, but also a challenge. Uh, we have had, uh, it, is, it has not always been, been positive. And, and in, in the last couple of years, I, I, I lean, to more, lean more towards a few really high quality collaborations with uh, really high quality institutes over this uh, all doors open that we have seen uh, in previous years in, in, in Sweden. So therefore it's, it's, a, it's a great honor to sign uh, this uh, memorandum of understanding today because this is perfectly in line with that intention. And since I now, when I visited uh, Pakistan, I was uh, head of department, now I'm, Dean for the Faculty of Technology, so I'm very interested in, in taking this uh, also to the next level, to the level of, of, of the Faculty of Technology, but that's a discussion for another day. It's also, I know that uh, Yunaid and, and Nadim also sees this as a great opportunity to recruit some talent to the cricket team, so, so uh, by that, uh, thank you very much, and, and I'm looking forward to a fruitful 
uh, collaboration in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jesper. <laughs> it was so kind of you. And since you was mentioning about the visit to Islamabad, and when I was looking at my timeline, I saw that it was uh, just by coincidence, it was 2nd of March uh, 2020, and today it's like 2nd of September. It's almost like one and a half year. Uh, and that's true that we have been, you know, forced by pandemic afterward, but uh, it's great that yeah, uh, all of us uh, keep on moving and did not give up. And uh, yeah, this, this effort that we initiated is now uh, getting more into realities. Okay, uh, yeah, so now I would uh, move forward and uh, I would really uh, thank uh, to, the, to the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Professor Mohamed Ali uh, for joining for this meeting and uh, also supporting us in this effort. It was really a pleasure to meet Dr. Mohamed Ali. Uh, and uh, if I'm not wrong, he's also uh, the, the, the chairman of the HEC uh, committee for the, for the vice chancellors uh, for of all universities in, in Pakistan. And he has a great, uh, I mean, uh, I think more than 20 years of experience in leading in different institutes and universities. So we look forward uh, to hear from, from uh, his vision and words. So uh, please, Dr. Mohamed Ali, uh, the stage is over to you. Thank you very much, Nadim. Uh, I, I would like to thank you and uh, Jasper and the entire team. And it was a real delight and honor to host you, to receive you here at Kaidism University last year. And I'm very delighted to see that, uh, you know, the, the plan which we made uh, is materializing today. And since I joined uh, this university, I had a plan to expand our, our, our School of Computer Science and Information Technology. And uh, I'm very delighted that this is a wonderful opportunity where in collaboration with uh, your university, we'll be able to you know, start new programs as you, uh, in your university is already doing it. So in my view, this is a, it's a wonderful opportunity uh, for both the institutions and particularly for us to collaborate and to, to look for all possible opportunities like, you know, doing a research projects together, the exchange of faculty, the exchange of students and uh, uh, the inst institutional, uh, you know, collaboration. And like uh, uh, Professor Anderson is now a dean, uh, we'll, I'll also look forward that there are many uh, areas of interest uh, in addition to computer science and um, IT and AI. So we'll look forward to have a broader collaboration now the, because we have a faculty of natural sciences. We do have a faculty of biological sciences, medical sciences, and social sciences. So in all areas, where we, wherever we can collaborate. And uh, I wish that... Uh, this, uh, like uh, uh, Dr. Jasper said, that uh, you know there is uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So we all look forward that this pandemic uh, will be over soon, and, and uh, I will be delighted to visit uh, your university myself and to actually uh, make a plan for some very concrete uh, programs and plans both in terms of teaching research undergrad level, uh, postgrad level, or even uh, doing our research projects together. So once again, uh, I'm very delighted, I'm very honored, and I'm very happy that all of you people work very well. And today we are signing this MOU and look forward to, to do a lot of activities together because uh, this, this is more important, that there are restrictions due to COVID and we are uh, today, we are meeting online, but there's always an opportunity. Uh, and this is one of the opportunity that we can interact online more frequently, but hopefully uh, this uh, pandemic will be over soon and will be, uh, because uh, on a light to note, uh, there are no restrictions in Pakistan. We'll uh, again invite Professor uh, Anderson to come over to Pakistan now for, for a few more days as we are a little safer because all of us are vaccinated. And now we also know how to live uh, with, with, with COVID. So uh, we'll be delighted to, to welcome you if you are homesick or you, you are, you know, 
sick of sitting at home and you know getting bored you can come over to pakistan is there are no restrictions as far as uh, sweden is concerned there are restrictions we'll wait till the restrictions are over and we'll look forward to come over to pakistan but in addition to that you know uh, this is uh, we look forward to work together as a partner university as a partner departments as a partner faculty and on top of it uh, as a, as a, as a, as a friends and uh, for which i think it will be beneficial for for the students of both universities for the citizen of both universities so that we can do a more uh, productive research so once again uh, i'm thankful to the entire team at uh, linnaeus university and i would like to congratulate my team who, who worked hard to get this uh, uh, mou signed today and after signing of this mou look forward to meeting you people once again and working with with you uh, on a very large scale in different parts so thank you very much and over to nadi thank you very much uh, dr ali it was really uh, so so kind of you uh, was pleasure and we were also uh, really excited and i uh, would like to host you uh, yeah i mean <laughs> there is still i mean we are all getting covered by the vaccination so things are moving on but uh, still there is a lot of uncertainties uh, so so but uh, maybe jasper can can say a few more words on on, the, on that plan i i i think that that uh, in sweden we have we have had recommendations more than 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 restrictions so so uh, we we have been working from home however we have always been uh able to work at the university but i think that that given the development of an availability of technology we have have so to say uh shift in uh what we can contribute with to the society and and stay at home and in that sense avoid crowded places and so on and 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 uh, well uh, hinder the pandemic from from spreading too fast so uh and i would like to return the 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 um, invitation uh, you are more than welcome we have already started to 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 discuss this and and as soon as as we can find a a suitable date and and time uh, i'm happy to welcome uh, you professor ali and and your team to sweden for 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 continuing uh, our discussions thank you jasper and uh... Now I would like to thank uh, our ambassador uh, from Pakistan here in, in Sweden, uh, Mr. Zoreman. Uh, thank you so, so, so much, sir, for joining on such a short notice. It's uh, really a pleasure to have you uh, in, in this uh, session. And uh, yeah, we as a uh, university and, and academic institutions from two different countries are, are always uh, you know looking uh, forward to work together and and, and fulfill the goals uh, and the objectives that are set by the government uh, authorities uh, on the top and it will be a pleasure to hear uh, the words from you and and uh, yeah so 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 yeah please uh, mr zolman uh, take over I think we cannot hear you, sir. Uh, maybe your mic is muted. Uh, I'm sorry. Now I can. Uh, now I think you can hear me now. Yes, sir. Okay. We can hear you. It's, it's a pleasure for me actually to join uh, all of you here today uh, from uh, the Kaizen University, uh, the Vice Chancellor Professor Ali, uh, Dr. Mozum, uh, and uh, Dean Anderson and everybody from the Linnaeus University, uh, including uh, people who are Pakistani origin and are now working with the university. So I think you have built a bridge between the two universities, which uh, which will lead uh, to a better cooperation in the future. And I think this MOU is very important because uh, Pakistan and Sweden have uh, many things which make us uh, different from each other. We are a developing country uh, in Pakistan. Uh, we, uh, whereas Sweden is one of the most developed countries in the world, uh, but there are many things which bring us together also. And I think one uh, major thing is the quest for uh, 
for better education to improving uh, our education and you will see this in the students who will uh, hopefully join you soon that this desire to better themselves the desire to play a greater role in the economies and the in the development of their own country and, and the world at large this this is something remarkable and we have uh, almost 65% of our uh, population is under 35 and this is an immense resource for pakistan but we also see this as an immense resource for the progress of science and and the world development uh, linus university is uh, named after uh, somebody who we heard about when we were studying in schools and colleges and uh, uh, i think it's it's a matter of honor that you have chosen uh, kaizam university which again is a remarkable institution in pakistan it's uh, not only the largest uh, public uh, sector university, it's also a, a university which has played its role in the, in the progress of Pakistan in many ways. For one, uh, being a public sector university, it is open to people of middle class and lower class also. And uh, these people have uh, risen up in, in the society because of the education that they have got from, uh, from Kaizad University and many of those people. Uh, I would tell you at least that uh, there are uh, more uh, diplomats uh, representing Pakistan from Kaizaz University than any other institution in Pakistan. So I'm, I'm very glad that you have uh, you've talked about high quality collaboration and you've chosen uh, Kaizaz University. So I, I think this is a very good step in the right direction. Education, innovation, sustainable development. These are the key areas in which Pakistan and Sweden share views and these are the key areas on which i think we can we can cooperate for future and this mou uh, the little that i have been able to see about it uh, i think it lays down a framework which we can work in future to expand further upon and to uh, to add a substance to it to have uh, to begin with uh, maybe a smaller number but to increase the number of student exchanges to uh, have faculty exchanges in future also have joint collaboration between uh, the scholars and researchers of both institutions. And uh, as an ambassador uh, representing Pakistan in, in, in Stockholm, I would assure you that the embassy, the government of Pakistan will do whatever to support your efforts uh, in this regard. And I look forward to visiting your university in Linus, uh, Linus University. And I, I also uh, uh, look forward to welcoming the students who come from uh, Kaizen University to your university uh, to Stockholm and I wish you best of luck. Thank you very much for having me here today. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Uh, it was uh, really kind to hear you and uh, yeah, so we, we look forward that, yeah, as you said, that uh, by, by signing this memorandum uh, of understanding, uh, I believe that uh, the researchers and the faculty members uh, and the academics at the two universities uh, will, will, I mean, they have been doing a great job. Both universities have their own history and they have served the communities uh, in the best possible ways. And, uh, and, and, and to, because, uh, I mean, yeah, in, in academia, it's uh, often things, uh, you know, and not just in academia, I think it's, uh, it's, it can be generalized uh, outside academia as well, because you, you, I mean, if you are alone, uh, you have, I mean, you can do a limited things, but if you join the team, then if you work in the teams, uh, you, you can do wonders. Uh, and there could be a lot of positive things and changes that, that can be brought up. So now uh, I think it's the time for the big moment for which we all have been working and uh, waiting for, for this long. So uh, I, I hope that both uh, Professor Dr. Jasper uh, and uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Ali, uh, you both have the papers with you to sign up. So I don't know if you have a possibility to show us on something on, on the camera, but it's over to you, sir. Perfect, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it's done. <laughs> Thanks, ah, and I would like to know. Uh, yeah. we, have, we have signed the document and uh, look forward to yeah. It's a very pleasing yeah. moment. I look forward to yeah. work together in the future. 
Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's 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 indeed an achievement. Of course, I mean it's a it, it's not just a piece of paper that we are signing. Uh, I believe that it's a, it's a more like a commitment uh, that that we are. I mean, uh, we are. Uh, of course, we was kind of committed already, but uh, with this uh, on on done on the paper, so there will be like more uh, things on that that will help us uh, through the official channels that we can uh, push on the things and 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 plan on and look for the new uh, you know the projects and 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 the ways we can we can collaborate with. so yeah and uh, yeah uh, and then i think uh, uh, yeah we are uh, done with what we have on on the plan uh, so it, it took took us a bit more time than we planned initially so i i apologize for that uh, and also would like to thank you that that you supported us in this and I think now the, the forum is open. Uh, we have uh, still we have a few more minutes because we plan until yeah uh, uh, 10, 10 to three o'clock. So so we still have a few more minutes uh, for the discussions. And I'm, I'm available. So if there are questions, some suggestions, uh, Stephen, if if you would like to say something, because we see you still a, an important part of the member. So although you was not on the program, but uh, yeah, if there is anything, yeah, please feel free and even. And the other participant, Dr. Hazir, uh, yeah, for your uh, supporting us in this event. So please, uh, thank you very much. And if you have any suggestions, uh, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Sure, I can just add in one thing. Obviously, I'm glad to see that this uh, really happened after our visit and, and all the effort that's been done from every side. And also Charlotte asked me about the amount of uh, international students. And I guess the most important of all, which might be of interest, how many Pakistani students do we have at Linnaeus University at the moment? So I could just add in these numbers. So approximately we say that we have around 2000 international students if we count all Europeans also. So you are, you are correct uh, when you say around 1600, 700 uh, exchange and tuition fee paying students. And then when it comes to the, the the group of Pakistani students, we have actually around 250 to 300 students uh, from Pakistan at, studying at Linnaeus University at the moment, depending a bit on if you count the ones that has kind of became uh, Swedish citizens as Mr. Unaid, for example, uh, then we, the number would be like around 300 Pakistani students. So. We are obviously glad to see that that number will most likely be increased uh, through this kind of, of agreements also in the long run. So the community of Pakistani students in Sweden and at Linnaeus University grows also. Thank you, Stefan. Yeah, and as you mentioned, uh, so we have an honor that we have a multi-talented uh, student and uh, now uh, the CEO of uh, and uh, international representative for Linus University, Mr. Junaid, uh, that uh, I hope that he will will keep us helping, bringing more uh, good students uh, to the to the, our departments. And Junaid, feel free if you have uh, suggestions or if you would like to say something. And 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 the same is for everyone. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I will just add on the thanks to everyone to make it happen. It was like uh, it took. Uh, for this process, it took uh, one and a half year, but uh, I will count it. It took like 10 years to bring this stage that uh, it was uh, a like, dream for me when I came here that uh, this option should be available for everyone who is there and want to study here. And thanks to Stefan who started this with me a couple of years back and then the team comes in and we all together convinced Jasper that he should go there and he visited Pakistan like the universities. And uh, thank you very much to uh, everyone who has helped him with uh, everything. So finally it happens. And uh, this is one of the biggest day in my life that uh, uh, now I am, I am one of the bridge with Nadim between our two home countries, first home and second home. Home, it, it will keep going and going. Thank you. Thank you everyone. You didn't have to ask me twice. <laughs> you asked me once and I said yes. So, <laughs> but I, I would like to. You, you have done a great job, uh, Junaid, and and I, I uh, hope and I know we will continue to work together in the future. Also, uh, uh, I'm. 
I, I actually have to, to, to leave you guys now once more. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to our future collaboration and uh, we will uh, work on an invitation uh, to, to, to the nearest university and, and arrange something as soon as possible uh, so that we can, may continue and, and develop this, this collaboration further. Uh, so once more from, from the Faculty of Technology, uh, thank you very much uh, and, and uh, uh, until we meet again, uh, goodbye. Thank you, Jasper. Yeah. So yeah, as you said that yeah, we will we will uh, keep keep uh, pushing on this. And uh, yeah, the next thing that I I, I can see right now is that we, since we are already discussing uh, this joint um, master uh, the displacement as master program in the field of machine learning and artificial intelligence, I see that both uh, these areas like machine learning and artificial intelligence, it's. Uh, it's much in demand, uh, both in industry and also uh, in, in, the, in the government sectors, because data is, is playing a key role and uh, policies and uh, not only just the government policies and even the marketing and the business world is nowadays depending a lot on the data. And we need a new methods to look at because the data is becoming overwhelming. And it's, uh, it's uh, I mean, with, with, with the development of new technologies, uh, the internet and the media that we have, we get so much traffic and so much uh, amount of data that it's not easy, and and we have a lot of interest from from the students uh, that who wants to get skills, and I think uh, I would uh, request once again uh, Dr. Hattak, Dr. Ali, and and their team that uh, if we could you know uh, because we have still almost one year timeline uh, because it's a it's a program that is offered by Mendes with the European Union uh, grants. So, so we, our, of course, our international office, the grant office can help us, uh, guide us in, in, in that direction. But this is something that I see that, uh, I mean, of course, there could be a number of different areas where, where the two universities could, could collaborate. But this, this, is, this should be something that we should definitely uh, look forward. And uh, taking the opportunity, uh, I would once again, uh, thanks. Uh, Mr. Ambassador uh, Zahur Saab, that uh, he took the time and joined us, joined us on such a short notice. And we would also be happy that we have, because uh, now uh, representing the community that we have in this small town of Vekho, uh, Junaid told me that he's planning to invite you and uh, have you for some lecture at the university. It will be a pleasure to have you. So, so yeah, we we'll look forward to that. Yeah. I look forward to that. Thank you, sir. Thank and the same goes on, on for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and since we are like uh, moving to the to the end of this the, this uh, uh, the session that we have planned for, so once again I would uh, thanks uh, everyone. If, if I miss somebody's name, so please uh, excuse me for that. And uh, yeah, so Dr. Ali. Uh, we will we will keep in touch and I will be you know coordinate through through Dr. Mohajam Ali and uh, we will look forward to have you uh, soon uh, in Sweden uh, in our university uh, so so that we can we can keep on uh, establishing uh, the thing that we have uh, started uh, yeah and have formalized today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, have a good day and uh, yeah, bye for now. So we keep in touch. Bye.